What happens if they don't put in a privacy policy URL? So it's going to default to the privacy policy URL that you put um, in. So there's two levels that it'll put. You, you, set, you can set an agency level one, right? So then everybody who launched the template will use your agency's privacy URL. Or if you don't put one, then it's going to use Apex's privacy URL. Um, we would recommend that you put your privacy URL in there, especially if you're doing anything that, so in your case with real estate, uh, anything in the medical field, things like that, make sure you're putting your privacy URL in there because whoever's privacy policy is there is who's legally responsible for it, right? So if right. you're, if the people are submitting data into your white labeled go high level account, but they're using Upex's policy, you're not covered, right? Upex is covered because we put, you know, we, we put all the, the legalese that we need to, but we didn't, we aren't the one that's actually collecting the data. You're collecting the data in your, in your account. So, you know, let's just say you were doing um, uh, something in medical and you got a HIPAA complaint lobbed against you, right? Well, you can't prove that that person who submitted their information gave you permission to store it on your server because you weren't using the right privacy policy. So just make sure that you put your agencies in and your agency's privacy policy is all covers, covers all your bases. Is there a way to require the privacy policy URL that the client, the end client puts it in there? Um, not right now, but I can, uh, I can, for real estate, I can definitely have the developers put something where it does require it. Or just, you know, have it be a checkbox or something that, you know, the template creator can make it required if yeah. they want. Yeah. No, that's a good idea. I'll go ahead I and I'll, I'll put that. I don't want to hurt, I don't want to hurt anybody else that's writing ads. <laughs> yes. Um, and then are you able to see the messages like in the, on, on fx.com? Um, so yeah, hopefully that, uh, that answers your question there. Uh, Lori, I thought the privacy policy should be for the clients. They're the ones collecting the data. I want to put my privacy policy on their website if I use a GHL form on their site. So no, that's actually not the case. So if you actually look, for instance, um, at Facebook, when you do a, a Facebook lead gen form, Facebook includes their privacy policy, and then they give you an option to add additional privacy policies on top of that. And the reason why is because Facebook is storing that data, right? So anybody who is storing data needs to have their privacy policy in place as well. So in your case, because you are utilizing a white labeled version of go high level, at the very least, you need to have your privacy policy mirror theirs or have your own privacy policy for the data that's being collected. Now, for being honest, I mean, by a show of, virtual hands here who reads these things who even clicks on the link to a privacy policy right nobody <laughs> the only people who care is in the off chance that you get sued in the future right an extremely off chance that you get sued in the future so it's important that you have your privacy policy your clients should have their privacy policy right anybody that's handling people's personal data especially if you're doing anything in europe and or in the european union please please make sure you have all of your ducks in a row. If you're touching somebody's data in the European Union, they have so many rules now regarding what you can and can't do. Please make sure you have it checked by a lawyer. There's lots of online ones out there that you can do. Uh, there's actually a great um, company that we use. It's called termly.io. They keep everything all super compliant for you. Um, they'll keep your privacy policy up to date as laws change and whatnot. So you may want to look at these guys. They have free options for people. But especially if you're doing anything in the European Union, please make sure you have good, solid privacy policies because uh, they, they're they ridiculous over there. Uh, it looks like Lori, she uses Termageddon for her, uh, her privacy policy. Um, all right, Lori, we probably should have both then. My agencies, yes, you should have both. Anybody who's touching the data. Um, so if your client is planning on downloading it off of your CRM, and putting it in their own stuff, they should have the privacy policy listed on their website. Um, all of the, especially the European Union, they're looking for the, where's that data being exchanged with? Are they allowed to have it, right? Um, 
So it's it's a it's a whole wine. 